Bugger, welcome to your weekly reading. Right, so this is going to be another quick one this week. As you can see, I'm moving around again. So this is not our home. We're moving to our home later on. So um, later on today when I'm recording this. So by the time you guys see this, I will already have been in a new place. So uh, let's just j jive. I always say that. Let's just dive into reading, Bugger. Let's see what's going on for you guys this week. Let's see what's uh, happening for you for the 5th to the 11th. Please spare it. Let's see. For Virgos. We have... We had this before. You guys had exchanging gifts before. There is a gift coming through from somebody else around you. From the universe. Because it's paired with poise. Which is like this getting ready card. I always see it as a being open. Being prepared. Being in position to receive something. And because you have exchanging gifts too. It does feel like manifestation is happening. You are receiving a gift. Last time... The exchanging guest was paired with serendipity. So being in the right place at the right time. It does still feel like you have this energy around you coming into this week as well. So um, the theme can still be present in your world. You are receiving a gift. You're being called to be ready. Embody it. Act as if. As if it's already happening. You know, that kind of excitement and joy and that ecstasy that you'd feel as if it's here already. They want you to feel that now. Let's see what else is coming through for you. Okay. For Virgo, let's get one more. Ooh. That is not nice. Right. You do have daughter romance. Of course, these cards can all come together and kind of be talking about the same thing. But I'm going to dissect it a little bit because how it resonates for everyone is different. You have daughter romance coming through. So there could be an unlocking of a door in your romantic life, whether that means that you guys are deepening a current connection, all right, discovering new layers of each other, which is beautiful. Um, it can also be if you're single that you are going to be stepping into a new opportunity where you are able to meet somebody new, okay? There is a daughter romance coming through. Just be aware because you do have deceit. This doesn't have to be the same message it can be different there might be a little bit of deceit going on around you this week so just be mindful of that but it can be in ro your romantic life so if you do have a weird gut feeling about somebody just pay attention to that but i will clarify that because i'm not picking up on it being anything to do with this gift this opportunity or this romantic relationship so just pay pay attention be um bear with me as i get the rest of the cards out let's see for let's see for my lovely Virgos, please spirit. For the 5th to the 11th, what does Virgo need to hear this week? Creation. You guys are creating something this week. You have perfection and wisdom as well coming through. So wisdom is saying here, just like your hermit self, you are represented as a hermit, which is an old soul, someone who's been through very um a very challenging life potentially the hermit has to climb that mountain to be able to have that wisdom that he has so for a lot of you this is just saying to you you have very deep wisdom within yourself potentially that might be important for you guys to listen to this week is that wisdom it could of course be coming from other people around yourself as well so just pay attention to that you could be getting a lot of like deep wisdom deep advice coming from elders or people in your life who are old souls okay could be coming in to bring you some sort of peace uh, and you have perfection which was uh yeah interesting because i was thinking i wanted to tell you guys that it doesn't have to be something about not being not needing everything to be perfect this week you are a virgo you are you have a stereotype about needing things to be exactly how you want them to be it has to be perfect um and my intro i did not like and i was just telling myself i feel like that was a message so the fact this came out just kind of clarifies that i should have said that earlier things do not have to be perfect okay and maybe because of that deceit card as well just pay attention to things that kind of are making you feel like you have to be a certain way make sure that we're not tricking or deceiving ourselves that we can't have something unless something is completely perfect but i will dive into that deceit because i don't like the look of it to be honest but the rest of the cards this week are great so let's not allow this to get in the way 
And that could be a message within itself. If someone is deceitful around you or if you are experiencing any negativity, it's a really important message that you have a lot of good things going on in your life. Don't zone in on that one negative, okay? Some of you might need to hear that. But let's see what else coming through for you. Let's get you some keywords. All right, you guys are definitely bringing something into your reality, though. I'm sensing a bit of magician vibes with that exchanging gifts, poised, and creation. You could be bringing something to life. You could be creating something at this time. For Virgo, 5th to the 11th, you have freedom. All right, you are seeking freedom this week, okay? I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. It's within your control. There are things outside of our control that might get in a way or get in a impeach. I heard impeach on our freedom. So just make sure that you understand that the things outside your control, you can't do anything about it, right? But the things that are inside your control, such as your happiness, we can adjust and change to make sure that we are happy despite the things going on around us. But let's see what, the hell, what else. Same with perfection as well and wisdom. Things don't need to be perfect for you to have freedom or be happy. Let's see. Virgos. And balance. There we go. Needing to balance things this week. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. All right. Now, let's give you an animal spirit. And then I am going to clarify that deceit card for you and get some other messages for you. For Virgo for this week, please, Spirit. Lizard Spirit, dream the world into being, which I feel like you're doing anyways. All right, it's a really good message about adapting to situations like we were saying earlier not everything's going to be perfect but you can make it as amazing as you desire of course the things that are in your control anyway that i think like that's what the balance is I'm, I'm struggling to tell your message because it almost feels like yeah but there is something else um yeah but you know as much as you can dream the world into being maybe there is something that is slamming the door in your face or somebody could be blocking something for you or whatever it almost feels like i'm hearing that in my head maybe you guys are doing that to yourself too and spirit's just reminding you things don't have to be perfect in order for things to grow um lizard spirit again is about being able to adapt and of course it goes hand in hand with the poised card because it's about dreaming the world into being similar to that magician energy we're sensing here about creating the life that you want to live creating freedom for yourself creating happiness for yourself creating that lifestyle for yourself too you're able to bring it in as you are able to adapt okay and dream the world into being. I want to get one more. Thank you. What is it? Coyote. Trust in divine detours. So again, things don't have to be perfect. You may have had everything planned out, Virgo, and I feel like maybe it's not going to go to plan. And again, that is okay. The The end goal is, is the same. You are going to get what it is you're asking for. We have that magician energy kind of showing up in your reading energetically. But it's just about maybe the way that you thought it had to go is not the way that it needs to go. In fact, something better might even happen. Trust in divine detours. I'm sure we can all look back in our life and see um, where there was a bit of a divine detour. Something may have went wrong and you ended up having to take a different route and it ended up being even better than what you could have expected. So again, that's what is coming up for you guys this week. Let's just have a little look at this deceit card because it's just staring at me weird. <laughs> Let's see, what is this deceit for Virgo this week? Three of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. This was the first one that came up. It was just face down. I couldn't see it. So definitely is a little bit of, definitely deceit. This is the lying, cheating, stealing card. This is, you know, someone who is kind of taking those swords, stealing those swords so that, you know, he has more for his side of the battle here so that he can win over his opponent here so just pay attention to anybody who's like this i will uh, give you different um analogies of what this can mean you have the seven of wands and the three of pentacles so one thing i want to tell you is your persistence in making sure that you don't back down in the face of opposition okay is going to lead you towards success the seven of wands again is despite the odds and how things look definitely feels like you're being challenged here by deceit this week 
you are going to still have success in some sort of plan and I think spirit is wanting you to work on a plan here work on building something okay because despite these challenges you absolutely will have success that's what the seven of wands is um this is you building something building the foundation planning for something here that still seems successful i just want to look into the seven of swords once more what is this what is this sneaky energy the ace of swords now that's interesting this is communication of course but it's also truth so it does feel like maybe this is about something being exposed this week um you know someone could be telling you something about this deceit this is also a card of victory by the way as well so whatever this deceit is whatever this is about maybe somebody trying to sabotage something or trying to win over you in whatever way i think it is going to be exposed and i think that you are going to get the truth here and again you are getting victory over the situation can i know what the deceit is though so i can actually like <laughs> say what this is what is the deceit about in what area of virgo's life where is this coming from what is the deceit one more Okay, so the first thing that I'm seeing on the bottom of the deck, we have the tower card. So that's separation, that's a falling out. Um, so this might be either causing destruction and the separation, or this is someone who you have separated from already. The Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups feels like this is somebody who is coming in very quickly without knowing all the information. So someone could be spreading a bit of misinformation here or for their own gain the nine of cups is like a kind of a selfish card and sometimes it's good but when we're talking about deceit this is somebody doing something for their own gain um eight of pentacles and the strength card this feels like your energy it could be pertaining to your finances and your work life eight of pentacles something you've worked really hard for they're not going to be successful with this and it's something i want to say to you but maybe again it's being exposed and you're like hey that's not very um loving <laughs> maybe i need to get you out of my life here because again the tower card is here there is a falling apart so eight of pentacles and a strength card again similar to what we had earlier with this combination you keep doing you and we even had that earlier when i said just because it just there is deceit here don't forget everything else that's going on here so we will go into the other messages eight of pentacles your finances will be increasing the hard work that you're putting into something is going to pay off for you okay that strength card as well really does feel like you're building a very strong um maybe a strong routine you're building a strong um result for yourself you know because that strength card feels like a rock to me so it kind of feels like um a foundation that you're laying a structure that you are building is absolutely going to be strong enough to withhold any kind of sabotage or deceit or people trying to gain something over you or whatever like keep working on yourself keep working on the routine or the the plan we have a lot of good financial cards here as well to be honest with you so it's all talking about sticking to a plan or sticking to a structure building the right foundation the platform is going to lead to a lot of financial uh, abundance but of course it requires hard work of course too or work at least building on your skills and your abilities of course practicing staying consistent with yourself that's your strength okay so maybe someone's trying to kick you off the throne is what it feels like i don't know why that <laughs> those words came to mind but again your consistency and your ability to not give up and your ability to keep pushing is your strength this week okay over whatever this is happening and my nose getting itchy so um that could be a bit of an omen here okay now anything else anything else for virgos this week seven pentacles again don't give up on something if you're not seeing results straight away it doesn't mean to give up on something some of you might need to dive deeper into some sort of wisdom or knowledge um, and that could help you understand why something isn't growing in a certain time frame or maybe um 
Or maybe it's just about making sure that you're understanding that the journey that you guys are in towards success, towards the throne, towards that stability, it is going to take some time. But I do definitely feel like some of you need to dive deeper into some knowledge about what it is that you're actually trying to grow, whether it's just personal development. Some of you might need to read some more books, to listen to more podcasts, or again, take a, lo- a different route. I feel like some of you might need to change something in your routines, try something different, trial and error. Really, it's about slow and steady does really win the race in this case. That rhymed, didn't it? He's going slow enough to understand. Hmm, is this something I really want to plant? He's really observing what he's doing. And some of you might need to do that too. Make sure you're paying attention. Okay. For your career and work life, it feels amazing. For your stability within yourself, it does feel amazing does feel like you're creating financial stability by the way and and just security in your life which is great but if it's taking its time don't worry if there is a little bit of like i wish i could do this better then that's the step you need to take here uh anything else for vago this week the high priestess this is a card of silence observation all right listening to your intuition of course saying that you have a heightened intuition at this time this week okay you are able to feel things see things know things before they happen okay um and maybe you just have a gut feeling about something here um so trust in that it could be telling you something this week all right anything else about that deceit card that we need to be aware of You have the chariot, four of cups, and the lovers. This is a great combination, by the way. Um, With the four of cups as well, four of cups really is about rejection, is about closing ourselves off. So I will say for some of you, this deceit can also be about, just for some of you, it could be about uh, trying to rush things for kind of short-term, short-term gains. Make sure we're not doing that. If we're feeling jaded, we're feeling bored with our life, we want growth, make sure that we are being open to opportunities outside that comfort zone in order to grow and evolve. The chariot chases the star, your dreams, your goals, determination, coming out of the comfort zone, he's leaving the city, he's chasing, um, he's going to discover something. I feel like that's what it is for you guys. They're highlighting that. It feels like for some of you, hmm, feels like he's never embarked on this journey before which means that you have to pay attention of course to your decision making of course it is going to be extremely outside your comfort zone i'm feeling a little bit like a mission (laughs) you guys are going on a mission to find some sort of star which is that goal that wish fulfillment Mm, i don't know what they're exactly meaning by that for some of you it could just be trying to figure out you know whatever your goal is to you, whether it's financial windfall, whether it is um, just living a a great life, it feels like the route to get there is very unknown to you. But if you're determined that you're going to find it, instead of, oh, I don't want to say it, but like sulking under the tree, I'm saying this with love, by the way, but it was just the words that came up here. Um, If you're dedicated to finding it, you will absolutely find it. Okay? It requires balance and understanding that the road is not going to be easy. There will be challenges, but you have to balance that energy, understanding that when you and your shadow are balanced, you're able to go in one solid direction, one one solid direction. All right, the love is as well as bad decision. Of course, it can be love. If it is love and you're dealing with this deceit in your relationships, your love life, um, you might need to make a choice about whether or not you're going to reject something here. Okay. Um, the seven of swords can again just be someone trying to test the waters to see if you're a, you know you're still open to them or not. Your decisions will be important. Okie dokie. I think that's all I have for you. I am curious about the deceit because I am a Vago myself. So I'm like, what is that? (laughs) Um, But I guess 
I guess spirit said what it needs to say. Just like we said in the beginning, the rest of the stuff that's going on around you is more important. Just to see, again, you will have victory over it. It doesn't feel anything like damaging to you at all. Um, it just feels like it's something that's trying to distract you. You know, so just pay attention to that. You will still have success, victory, absolutely. But anyway, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. And I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, let me know. Again, these are just some quick readings whilst I'm in the middle of moving. So I hope it's been okay for you. Let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys uh, next time. All right. <laughs>